Have the shorts covered? No? Hmm. What the fuck are we talking about then? All right. So, uh, shout out to Fashion Trapper for catching me on that. I appreciate you, OG. Real trappers relate. Uh, but yeah. So, I wanted to talk about my video last night that I made. Uh, basically talking about the SEC report. So, the, the purpose of my video was to explain, uh, basically, uh, you know, we live in this country where everybody has their 100% faith in the police. And when, when black people are murdered by the police, murdered, okay, on camera, like everything, the opposition comes you know, and says, oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. He was a criminal. He was this. He was that. He deserved it. This and that. I'm telling you, I'm warning you. The stock version of that is coming your way. That's what I'm saying. You understand? That's why I said this is what it's like to be a black man in America. Because the shorts haven't covered, trust and believe. So don't give up. Shorts have not covered. They confirmed that in the SEC report. So you're fine, people. Okay? You're fine. They just letting you know that they don't give a fuck about you. I mean, that's just the basic, the basis of my video last night. It's like, hey, it, you know, the shorts haven't covered, but we don't give a fuck about you. So, like I was saying, I was basically saying the stock version of Fuck y'all, you're on your own, look at yourself, you're all criminals, you're gamifying the stock, you should have known better, da da da, da. That's, that's what this is. This is simply put, this is simple, simply put, just like that. You just wait and see, it's going to get even, it's going to be even more. Because, the poly, you know, since the SEC report is out, now you're going to get motherfucking pundits. All right, guys, we're going to give you a little raise today. Uh, all you got to do is talk shit about the game of gamification. Keyword, gamification. They're going to use this. They're going to say this. They're going to go all over the media and tell you, tell people, oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Da, da, da. Gamification. That's the word, guys. All right, chop, chop. Make sure everybody knows about it. That's what they're going to do to you. They're going to they're gonna talk shit. They're going to talk shit. And it's on you to have diamond balls of steel or diamond ovaries. Like, come on. <laughs> like it's on you to have you know that conviction and no matter what hold never fold trust me on that i'm not selling until the motherfucking shorts cover period and if they want to like i said they want to pull up pull up but you got to pay your shit and hey and and like i said i can understand the frustration like Especially for trade trades. I get it, bro. You you in the army. You feel me? You're like amongst the police. You feel what I'm saying? And uh you know, it's 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 crazy to see how, you know, you know, you're seeing you're seeing with your own eyes. You're seeing with your own eyes, you know, how and why people sometimes, you know, will escape that shit because they're like damn like you made me swear to a motherfucking flag you made me swear to a motherfucking code and all of this and that and here it is you motherfuckers ain't playing by the code you motherfuckers ain't playing with integrity and honor do you understand what i'm saying like you motherfuckers ain't doing that like it's the most incredible shit I mean, it's almost as if black people been saying this for hundreds of years. Hey, man, um, we read all this shit and uh, them motherfuckers ain't playing fair. Oh, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, you just better read the fine print and look at what this motherfucker is doing. Go see for yourself. You know? So, Yeah. So what I'm what I'm basically saying, and uh, this is just a quick little video, I guess. I'm basically saying, you know, don't have your hundred percent trust in the police all the time. Yeah, you call the police when you see a crime, and 
the police was like, hold on, how deep is this shit? Shit, I ain't, uh, all right, uh, okay, you were in this relationship, and you knew that motherfucker was crazy, so, uh, you should've never fought with them, and this ain't got shit to do with me. Boop! That's what this is. So what I'm saying is everybody has this 100% trust in the police in this country and uses and oh, back the blue. This is what they back, you know, this is what they say all the time. Oh, we back the blue. Well, guess what? The stock police just told you, Mr. Back the Blue that got into AMC, he just told you, fuck you, to your motherfucking face. Now what? Are you ready to listen yet? Are you ready to listen yet? Are you ready to listen yet? Are you ready to fucking listen yet? This is this is when 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 I'm and I'm sorry to to make it a race thing. I know some of y'all are real sensitive because you got the, you know Dave Chappelle and got all he done pissed off a few transgenders, <clears throat> and that's the crazy part. See, most of y'all don't realize Dave Chappelle is a scientist experimenting on the cancel culture folk. See, on one on one special, he talked so much. He talked a lot of shit about black people. And y'all was cool with that. And then the next episode, he shits on transgender. And y'all was like, oh, um, burp, pump the brakes. And now look, everybody's laughing because they know. Yeah, we you just showed us. You just showed everybody what it is. So I need you to be, you know, people be like shitting on being woke. But that's what being woke is all about, is understanding that there's motherfuckers that really don't have your best interests and there's certain ways to call them out, certain ways to have them reveal themselves, you know? So, and I don't give a fuck who you are, what you are, what you do, but just stop putting all that bullshit on, my, on Netflix and Hulu with children's shows. Like, y'all really fucking with... The wrong shit. But anyways, not to get off topic here. That's just me and my mind. Um, yeah. You guys had 100% trust in the police and now you're upset. Yeah, I was upset. I'm upset too because, you know, it's, 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 it's like, you know, this isn't going to, it isn't going to stop here is what I'm saying. You guys are going to see this situation and you're going to, you know, another, another crazy cop murder or even wrongdoing. Like I just saw some video of a cop kicking a dude in his face while he was handcuffed. What the fuck? And then here comes the conservatives. Oh, he should have followed the law. What the fuck? Like we know when we're being fucking like harassed you don't think we think so you think we're just that much of ape idiots that we're just not knowing what you, you just think we're just running from the law no when when we're dealing with an aggressive motherfucker we know when we're dealing with an aggressive motherfucker we're not stupid let me tell you something let me tell you some some g shit. i'm gonna tell you a story right long time ago all right so i was with my white boy right and uh, I was chilling with him. He wanted to come and smoke with me. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was in the streets. Like street streets. I'm talking like real streets. Like trap, trap. Like real shit. You feel me? Whole 28s, baby. <laughs> what you know about it? Anyways. Um, so, so, so this is, uh, he, he came to come smoke with me, right? And, you know, the police pulled him over. Because he was, you know, in the, in the car in front of my house. They made me get out of the car, you know, and, and I don't know about other black folk, but I ain't, I'm not finna debate no police about, oh, why, oh, uh, I know my rights and man, fuck all that. I'm gonna just show him my shit and get the fuck out of my face. Don't take it a step further. Cause if you do, now we can fight. Cause I'm, I done showed you everything. Get the fuck out of my face. Don't, don't search me. Just here go my ID. You see my address is right here. Like I don't go nowhere. So, you know, I ain't, I'm, I'm at my shit. So it's my shit. So you can't do any of that. Don't all that fuck shit. Anyways, um, 
My white boy had a pound of weed in the car. You feel me? This is before medicinal marijuana laws and shit in Florida, okay? So, tell me why the police, right? He looked like this. He looked behind him. Looked behind just to see if I was looking. And then told him to get out of here. He did like this, like the motion. Just get out of here. Yeah, it's like that. Because even white people get profiled. In the hood, yeah. Oh, 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 you didn't know? Yeah, come on. He was that's the reason why he was pulled over. What's your white behind doing over here in this hood? Other than you know, what you doing? There's a reason why you in this hood. These are my streets that I patrol. What you doing around here? And then he told him, Yeah, just get out of here. So yeah. So yeah, they're willing to bend the corners on some things. But remember, they're not on your side. Just know this. Just know this. They're, the media is coming. I'm telling you, probably today, the media is coming. The media, who knows? They're going to say, Wow, what do you guys think about this SEC report and this and that? Well, I, well, I fucking told you. Like, <laughs> Jim Cramer. Yeah, I fucking told you. <laughs> like, come on, like, come on. Everybody knows. Like, this is just, this, 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 just. I mean, I have complete faith. Like, come on, man, shut up. Come on, man. Come on. And all, all we see is you motherfuckers protecting. The real criminals. And I know how people say, will, will say, I don't give a fuck about the crime. I don't give a fuck about this. I don't give a fuck about that. Okay, great. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But then there's other motherfuckers that's like, damn, bro, the law is the law. Like, motherfuckers are breaking the law and you ain't even put that in your report. Now, I know how, how, how other people are going to perceive this, you know, they were like, well, maybe they're not just put, they're, they're not putting stuff in because they want to just come from left field. Yeah. I hope you have that idea because I don't know. I can't, I, I don't a hundred percent agree with that. I believe it's going to probably be, you know, they're letting them know, Hey, we ain't going to fuck with you. Like, these motherfuckers is too rich. They paid me off or they, they, you know, think about this when you're, when you're in jail. Okay. Or if you're, you know, going to jail or whatever, how can you escape a crime? Okay. You know how it, let me, perfect example. I'm gonna bring this song up. Now I know some of you, you know, like I said, if you're still watching, there's a, there's a song from a rapper Named Plies. It's called A Hundred Years. You understand? He breaks down how the federal system over sentences black people. And then when it comes to Caucasian or any other race that money money launders and they commit those crimes. The judge is giving them a light chance and it's like, oh, well, you know. Just do this and you'll be all right. But when we do a crime, right, and it could be like almost as less than that, a less of a crime, they're willing to give us like 20, 30 years. So you're willing to give this motherfucker that stole or finessed or broke down the entire system, you're willing to give him like three to four years. Meanwhile, we still a tire out of house or still a, I don't know, still a purse out of house. You're willing to give us 30 years. The same shit's happening, people. How do you get off? Well, you pay motherfuckers. You get you a lawyer. You pay to get out of crimes in America. That's what this is. 
the SEC was paid to fuck off. That's all you're seeing. 